good afternoon students today i will discuss the topic which is related to your chapter resistance and rebellion first i will discuss on the colonial forest laws uh, their origin and effects after that we will discuss <clears throat> about three important revolts those were uh, very much related to the colonial forest laws the three important revolts were coal revolt santal revolt and munda revolts <clears throat> now uh, the colonial forest laws dietrich brandis uh, note this name d i e t r i c h dietrich B R A N D I S Brandis set up the Indian Forest Service in 1864 and helped formulate the Indian Forest Act of 1865 the Indian Forest Act of 1865 extended the British colonialism in India and uh claimed over forests in india the 1865 act was a precursor to the forest act of 1878 which truncated the centuries old tradition traditional use by communities of their forests and secured the colonial government's control over the forestry the act of 1865 empowered the british government to declare any land covered with trees as a government forest or government property and make rulers uh, make rules to manage it the government mainly used the woods for railway sleepers manufacture this law also made teak wood a government property by the forest act 1878 the indian forests were divided into three categories one reserve forest two protected forest and three village forest the villagers or the tribal uh, people who were the forest dwellers were not allowed in the reserved and the protected forest areas by these forest acts many activities of the forest dweller tribesmen were restricted and it had a great impact on them cutting of woods collecting fruits and roots hunting etc were banned the tribesmen and women were unable to cook food using fuel wood collected from the forests the most important problems were the matter of grazing and shifting cultivation the shifting or jhum cultivation was the life of those tribesmen for which they were depending on the forests so you can easily guess that the forest acts of 1865 and 1878 were a uh, life threatening to the indian tribesmen and it resulted various uprising and revolts all over india among them a uh, mention must be made of the santal revolt 
coal revolt and munda revolts i will discuss on those revolts in the next classes okay thank you